Time now for our weekly partnership with Asante. This week, Asante's health expert, Beth Coker, talks with Dr. Nathan Funk about the signs of symptoms of heart disease. Heart disease describes a range of conditions that affect the heart, including coronary artery disease, irregular heartbeats or arrhythmias, and heart valve disease. Dr. Funk, what causes heart disease? Well, Beth, as you alluded to, there's a lot of different causes to heart disease, and it encompasses everything from coronary disease, heart failure, arrhythmia, valve disease. And so, you know, I brought along a little model here, and I kind of compare the the term of cardiovascular disease to a house. You can have a lot of things go wrong. And so when we think about a house, we think about the plumbing system. So you've got the coronary arteries that run on the surface of the heart. You've got the, that's like the plumbing system in the house. You've got the windows and doors, which are kind of like the valves uh, here that you can see keep blood moving in the right direction. You've got the electrical system that encompasses disorders like arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. And then you've got the heart muscle wall, which is kind of like the structure of the house, you know, and so you've got heart failure where the heart muscle is weak. What are some signs and symptoms that a person should be aware of with heart disease? Well, you know, heart disease, one of the biggest um, components of that is coronary artery disease. So like I was saying, the, the coronary arteries run on the surface of the heart. You can develop blockages that obstruct blood flow to the heart muscle from cholesterol plaque. And when one of those plaques ruptures, it can cause a heart attack. So if we were to spend all of our time uh, just talking about coronary artery disease, that would be the most important thing that we could talk about. And, you know, I had a patient um, that came in not too long ago that was up all night with heartburn-like symptoms, and he just wrote it off as indigestion. He came into the hospital the next day, and it turns out he was having a big heart attack. And, you know, we get about two hours to 12 hours to save heart muscle. And after that, we can't recover a whole lot by opening up a heart vessel. So if you're having symptoms of chest pain, that's like a pressure or uh, sometimes even like an indigestion feeling in, in the lower part of your chest that can radiate up into your neck, jaw, down both arms. Sometimes it can cause sweating or shortness of breath. Those can be signs of a heart attack, and that's not something to write off. If it lasts just a second or a minute, that's probably not related to your heart. But if it's growing over time, and especially if it's lasting 15 to 20 minutes, um, that can be a sign of a serious heart attack. And so I would recommend that you go into the hospital or call 911 to have an ambulance come and, and check things out. Great information for anybody out there to be aware of. And for more information on heart disease, visit health.asante.org.